Hi everyone! Today we'll be taking a look at what's in my purse. This is a large tote that's actually made in the Philippines in the city of Marikina which is famous for bag and shoe production. This particular one was a Christmas gift and it's by Collectio Bags. Collectio Bags! A company that distributes Marikina made bags and it's called the Chiara Large Tote with a scarf and I really like this little color. The structure might look familiar. It was probably inspired by one of the designer bags. And I like that it has these little feet at the bottom so that the uh, the bag itself doesn't get dirty when I set it down on the floor. The first thing I have in my bag is another bag. This is one of the Bagalini bags that you can find in department stores. I really like the size. I use it for traveling. It fit my passport, my tickets, and all the important documents and uh, you can wear it as a wristlet and it also comes with a strap like so and sometimes if I don't need that big a bag I'll just take this one along with me it has so many pockets that are actually usable here it has a back pocket where you can stuff receipts or anything that you need within easy reach I have a toothpick in here for some reason then we have the main compartment which has a zippered pocket in the back and in the front that's where I usually keep my cell phone. Here in front, it has this really big pocket that actually zips down all the way to the sides, so it's expandable. Here's where I have my Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Cherry, kind of a dark lip tint. It looks really dark in the tube, but if you swatch it, it's quite light. And it just gives a wine-stained look to your lips, which that's really nice. I also have this Corez Lip Butter in Wild Rose, which again looks quite dark in the pot. But when you swatch it, you can see that it's a lot pinker than the Clinique Black Lipstick. I also have this Aesop Rose Hip Seed Lip Cream. Try saying that three times fast. A gift from my friend Francis, and this is uh, kind of different. It's a white cream that fades to become transparent when you put it on the lips. And it really keeps the lips smooth and supple as long as you apply it every three or so hours. Um, and it has this wonderful herby scent. I also have these oil control papers from Etude House, which I actually got because I needed a few more pesos on my receipt to qualify for their gift with purchase. It's just the usual um, Asian brown oil control strips. I don't have a lot of touch-up stuff in my bag. I like to do all my makeup at home and then when I go out just touch up the lips and that's about it. And then if I ever get oily I just pat this on to absorb the excess oil. I just kind of let my makeup wear throughout the day so it has that kind of lived-in look. So I have leather gloves for winter. These are smart gloves, so I don't have to remove my gloves to use my phone or my tablet. I have my house keys with my little name on it. And of course I have my little earmuffs for the cold. If I wear these, I don't even need to wear a hat to keep my head really warm and toasty. The rest of the stuff is actually work stuff. For those of you who don't know, I am a medical resident specializing in internal medicine, also known as adult medicine. And so I have my white coat with me in my bag. And this coat carries within its three pockets, I'm not kidding, 10 pounds of stuff. First up, I have my stethoscope, of course. It has my little name on it, so uh, people know who to look for if ever it gets lost. And I have lost it already. I have my meal tickets, pager and house phone, iPad mini, whether it be patient information or just uh, references. It uh, makes it very easy to look up stuff on the go. My pen, Mongol Ink Joy, which I hoarded while I was in the Philippines. These are really cheap, like nine pesos per piece. So it doesn't cost a lot if you lose them, which I tend to do. I like that they look like pencils, but they're actually ballpoint pens. And they look unique enough that I'm hoping if I lose one, people will know that it's mine. I also like to carry around this Faber-Castell highlighter. I like these highlighters. They're the most neon ones that I've ever used. Look how neon it is. 
it's practically glow in the dark. They cost about 28 pesos in the Philippines. I haven't found alternatives to these in the States. I brought a few back with me, but I'm running out. So if anyone knows of alternatives, do leave a comment and I'd love to check them out. Lastly, I have the purple book, also known as the green book in previous editions. This is, of course, the Massachusetts General Pocket Medicine Handbook. It has a lot of the more common diseases along with differential diagnoses, workup, and uh, treatment options that you can consider. It's really good for basic medicine. Interestingly enough, this isn't something that I could have used in the Philippines, at least not in the institutions I worked in, because a lot of the um, treatment modalities and even the workup uh, wasn't available, although to be fair, the only experience I did have was in charitable institutions, you may call underserved areas. Aside from the information that's found in this book, I've added my own notes with the use of these little notebook leaves. These are the Philofax white ruled note papers. This says that it's $9.00. However, I got this off Amazon for slightly higher. I couldn't find any of these in store. These are the Philo Fax papers in a personal size if you're ever looking for them. The paper is lightweight, but it's smooth and it's really good for ballpoint pens, um, micron pens, and uh, Pilot GTEx. And I believe gel pens will also do well on them. And that's what's in my bag. If you have any suggestions on what I should keep on my person on a daily basis, do leave a comment below. Same goes for if you have any questions. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up so that I can make some more. Goodbye!